Let's get into the world of oil. Of course, we showed you what's in the news yesterday. Nigeria and Libya are keeping their shirt as far as the output is concerned, but Nigeria will join the OPEC and non-OPEC cutback uh, team as soon as we get our productions to around 1.8 million barrels per day. So the militants decided on the same day to shave Nigeria by 150,000 barrels per day. That's uh, attacking the uh, Trans-Niger facility or the pipeline uh, in Ogoni land. Uh, on the same day, oil of course also started creeping backwards. This morning, uh, Brent was around 48, close to $49 a barrel. Uh, we haven't been able to get our $50 a barrel back for quite a few weeks. Uh, let's bring in a research analyst at uh, one of the research analysts. Of pardon. Yes, it's a team there at Financial Derivatives Company. Good morning, Bolanli. Good morning. Uh, okay, so yesterday was quite busy, isn't it? Yeah. You, what's your take from the, uh, uh, the Russia meeting about Nigeria? Uh, let's keep it home. Um, so, so far we did, it was what we expected because we had openly said we were trying to reach our 2.2 million um, barrels per day target. So it's inevitable that OPEC, you know, tries to cap that to make sure that, you know, all prices are being um, bolstered up. But then um, they said, um, they said initially that, you know, this is a cap. We haven't got into the 1.8 million barrels per day yet. We're currently at 1.7 according to OPEC. So it doesn't really change so much apart from the fact that it provides sentiment into the oil price market. So it's just a signal that, you know, they're actually doing something to cap production at its levels. And also I think it warned um, some of the uh, members of the OPEC and non-OPEC team about compliance levels. You know, I think Ecuador at some point mentioned that they were not going to be in support of the um, production cuts anymore. So this the meeting was generally to make sure that the output, you know, targets were met. I think that meeting just ignored uh, Ecuador's statements. It probably did, yes. It just ignored Ecuador. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I think uh, Saudi Arabia was more uh, in the news. Yeah, because Saudi Arabia as, yes, the is a major, yesterday. you know, production um, hub for oil. And um, Saudi Arabia saying that they're going to cut or cut down their oil exports is good news for the oil market. And, and, and good news before that was that the U.S. shale oil was aggressive, but then not as aggressive as everyone as, thought. Yeah. So the big was a little bit less volatile. Yes, and less yes. concentrated on the U.S. market because they have they can't really do much about what you know U.S. does at the Perhaps moment. Perhaps we're just scared about the U.S. Not not really. Why should we? we, we are we just too scared of the United States? Of course, they're, they're, they're the world's leaders. They are, first of all, they they the fact that their demand um, reduced just dramatically from the oil market affected the oil prices. But at the same time, we should be we should not not really put so much emphasis on the U.S., but still have them at the back thinking, you know, they could definitely... Just, just keep them in focus. They can, the U.S. can hurt the rest of us. Yes, definitely. Yes, they can. Um, look at the, uh, what you guys brought up today as the burden economic issues. I'm looking at item one, two, three, four, five. Number five, the IMF uh, revealed over the weekend, revealed the global uh, growth um, a forecast up by 0.4% to 3.6%. U.S. got a, uh, a shot in the arm. Uh, well, in the well. foot, not, not in the arm. When you get in the arm, mm -hmm. then that means it's, it's to boost you. When you get in the foot, it means uh, you slow you down. Yeah. Uh, U.K. also got a shot in the foot. Uh, but China, uh, Eurozone, uh, got uh, a boost, a shot in the arm. Yeah, that's it's great news because this we, is great news for oil. It's, isn't it? it's great news for oil because we do expect China is one of the highest. You know, um, the demand for oil there is really high, so we do expect that as they keep growing we should see more um, demand for oil. But at the same time, there's the risk that they might actually their debt level can you know, increase as well because they've been borrowing a lot within their economy. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's China. That's, that's China, yes. uh, by, by the debt crisis. Yeah. Um, uh, let, let's, let's flip things over. Let's talk about price a little bit. Uh, we're heading towards 50. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, yes, 48, 36. But That's a bit comfortable. With the news of Nigeria being, you know, the oil production being capped at 1.8, they we didn't see a dramatic change in oil prices. I think oil prices only increased by about 0 0.6 percent to 48.91 currently. But um, so we don't know where oil prices will be taken to. Maybe we should reach the 50 um, barrels per day. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Let's look for what is good news and what is bad news. 
Um, all hard food curve is revenue friendly to Nigeria. In terms of our projections, you think we should just uh, be comfortable with 1.8 as yes, it were? Yes, because we haven't even reached that point. And with the with the attacks, the militant attacks or the suspected militant attacks, mm. we are all production should technically be around 1.5 at the moment. We're not sure whether the militants are back. Yeah, we do, we're not sure, but there's a possibility that a new trend has started. Ah, that's that's going to be serious bad news, yeah, and I don't want this to, uh, to 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 be a bad news uh, uh, for us. But if you think that we are seeing a forecast from the IMF that the world uh, economy will grow, mm -hmm. that gives us some measure of 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 uh, a room to sell our oil. Yes. Uh, but the key question and the issue for the Nigerian authorities had been who are the uh, new customers and uh, uh, where do we find them? Uh, are they willing to consume as much as we would want to supply them? Because the glut hasn't really eased significantly to give everyone a breather. Um, regarding um, what they should be thinking about or what their focus should be on shouldn't really necessarily be the global market anymore because our dependence on the global market is why we're here still in a recession. We should actually focus on the domestic um, aspect of the economy, refine our oil within our economy, consume most of our oil within our economy and less dependence on oil as well. Uh, so, so, so you think we should, fo we should focus more on, you think, if, you guy, if I go on the street and ask the Nigerians what they really want, uh, what bothers them most? Is it the output? Is it production? Is it sales? Or is it the availability of the products that is refined locally and at a it's, price? It's definitely the availability because the price is still very high in, within the domestic economy. Like we've gotten used to the 145 naira per liter, but it's still high for a country that actually produces um, oil. That's about 50 cents. Yeah. 50 cents. Well. <laughs> okay, that's putting you on the spot. <laughs> you don't want to no, offend the folks on the street. No, no. I don't want to offend them either, but 145 is about just about 50 cents. Yeah, uh, but so. it's, but we, mm, with, less than a dollar. Yeah, but for the average Nigerian, it's, it's, not, it's still very expensive. Yeah, if, we bring the, our, if we bring the dollar our, home. Yeah, because our, our de economic development is not high at all. Like we, the, the, average, the average man cannot actually consume you know, the amount of oil that he actually needs for his own domestic um, household. Uh, well, I, I just wanted to prove the devil's advocate uh, there a little bit. Uh, if folks out there are not going to get angry uh, on Twitter, and I'm watching that very closely before they say, hey, Bozen, you think 145 naira per liter is okay? Uh, I didn't say it's okay. I was just uh, playing the devil's yeah. advocate. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's good. People are really, really upset out there with the state of the economy. Look at the oil markets today. Brent, uh, since the year started, we've seen 15.52% uptake in, in Brent. Uh, the U.S. Uh, West Texas Intermediate, 14.65, and natural gas, 21.02. So, uh, if I'm investing in oil, it hasn't really been a bad year, has it? No, it hasn't really been, because if you look at where we were last year, it was about, we got to as low as... Um, 20 something um, dollars per barrel which is significantly low for where we started in 2014 or 2013 but now we're, we're, we've kind of reached a stable level the only question is what do we what new thing do we need to do to boost out of this um, 50 dollars you barrel? you have any idea what new thing we should do um well for nigeria what are the things we shouldn't do n no things we shouldn't do is to be too dependent on oil and you know our budget our budget benchmark are uh, what, what we've actually um, proposed in our budget 2.2 million barrels now that they've capped us at 1.8 is bad news for our budget and our debt service according to DMO is currently about 7.8 trillion naira which is about 1.5 trillion naira per year over the, over the over the past five years so um, um, it's we should l be less dependent on oil as it is well, I think we should just forget 2.2 uh, million barrels per day for now we and just take it out yeah. of our MTF or whatever until year 2000 and maybe from there and we can have another conversation with our and become more efficient yes, yes exactly. with our revenue, with, with, with our revenue yes. and with the 1.8 yes. and make sure the militants are quiet yeah. uh, and they hold it there okay thank you very much for coming thank we you. appreciate that uh are you watching the uh, meetings in abuja yes, definitely. the africa uh, petroleum producers yeah. well we got a few okay see you again in the week we're yeah. also watching the uh, mpc meeting today yes, yeah. okay we'll get together on thursday yeah. to have a further conversation from you whether the interest rate decision uh, will uh, affect what happens in the community market.